Hey guys and welcome to the channel, it's your boy TJ Burns and in today's video I'm going to be talking us through every single sea creature you can capture in the month of July in the Northern and Southern Hemisphere. I'm going to be starting off with the Northern Hemisphere but if you guys are new here to the channel, my name's TJ Burns, I do Animal Crossing tips and tricks videos as well as loads of streams and giveaways so if that's something that sounds interesting to you why not check out my channel, slap a like on it and subscribe for more Animal Crossing content but let's get straight into it. So with the new summer update we've been introduced to swimming and loads of new sea creatures to capture so let's talk through all the ones available in the northern hemisphere in July. Starting with seaweed, available all day it has a large shadow size and it sells for 600 bells. We also have sea grapes, um, again this is one that doesn't move at all, it has a smaller shadow size but sells for 900 bells. Moving on we also have a sea star. These are the ones that are sort of available all the time. A sea star is available all year, all day, also with a small shadow size and sells for 500 bells. Now moving on to our first dangerous item I would say, we have the sea urchin, again available all day with a small sh shadow size and sells for around 1,700 bells. But be careful of this one, if you know about sea urchins in real life, they are quite dangerous. <laughs> moving on, we also have the slate pencil urchin, this one sells for 2,000 bells and has a bigger shadow size of a medium one. It spawns between 4 p.m. to 9 a.m. And its speed is medium. In the corner, we've got both a sea anemone and a moon jellyfish. The sea anemone is available all year, all day long, and has a large shadow size, whereas the moon jellyfish it has a small shadow size and sells for 600 bells, but similarly is available all day from July to September. Moving on, we have this sleep, the sea slug, which is <laughs> that was hard to say and hard to see. Um, again, this is available all day. The shadow size is extra small and sells for a measly 600 bells, but the speed is also extra slow, which you would expect from a little sea slug. Next up, we have a pearl oyster, again available all year, all day, with a small shadow size, but this sells for 2,800 bells. Similarly, the mussel is available all day, and that one sells for 1,500 bells. Now the scallop is pretty cool, again all day, all year, I like how it flips around when you touch it, but it sells for 1,200 bells. After that we have the whelk, it looks like a little sea snail essentially, again available all year, all day, a small shadow size and sells for 1,000 bells. But it's kind of cute, <laughs> as weird as that sounds, a weird little sea snail. Now we have the abalone, I'm not sure if I'm saying that right, but this is available from 4pm to 9am. It goes all the way up to January if you haven't caught one yet. It's got a medium shadow size and moves a bit quicker, but it sells for 2,000 bells. We also now have the giant Gigas Clam, which is absolutely amazing. Extra large shadow size, extra fast as well. Sells for 15,000 bells, so keep an eye out for that one. One of my favorites as well is the Octopus, which is also available all year, all day. It's got a medium shadow size and sells for 1,200 bells. And next to the octopus we have a vampire squid, available from May to August. This is also an extra fast speed moving one, but sells for 10,000 bells. Down here we have our first crab, the Gazami crab, <laughs> I think it looks pretty cool. It's also available all day, medium shadow size, medium speed, sells for 2,200 bells, not bad at all. Next up we've got an acorn barnacle, you've probably seen loads of these already. Again, available all year, all day. It's extra small shadow size and it does not move, selling for a measly 600 bells though. Tiger Prawn, also a very small addition, selling for 3,000 bells. It's a small shadow size and moves a bit quickly. One of my favorite, if you watch Logan Paul, is the Mantis Shrimp right here. If you touch the glass, it does try and break it. Only sells for 2,500 bells, sadly, but it's available all year from 4 p.m. to 9 a.m. It's got a medium speed, so watch out for it but it's very cool. I literally love when I touch the glass and it literally smashes it <laughs> well cool. In the corner, we have a giant isopod available from July to October, 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. and 9 p.m. to 4 a.m. So that one's a bit different. Um, extra fast speed is medium, but sells for 12,000 bells. We've also got this horseshoe crab, which flips over, <laughs> which is quite cool. <laughs> I was mesmerized by this when I first saw it. Medium shadow size, medium speed, 2,500 bells. Not bad at all. Uh, next to that, once it's flipped back over, we also see the infamous sea pineapple, aka SpongeBob's house, <laughs> that is available all day from April to August. It's got a small shadow size, it hardly moves, it's a slow speed, it sells for 1,500. And last but not least, we have the Spotted Garden Eel, which is available from 4 a.m. to 9 p.m. 
It's got a small size, it's slow and sells for 1,100 bells. Now if you've been patiently waiting or skipped to this bit, this is the Southern Hemisphere sea creatures available in the month of July. Also every single one you can capture, they're in a slightly different order and are slightly different to the Northern Hemisphere, but again it starts off with seaweed, available all day with its large shadow size, it doesn't move, but sells for a measly 600 bells. Next to the seaweed we have a sea cucumber, so that's different compared to the Northern Hemisphere. It's extra slow, it's got a medium shadow size and sells for 500 bells which isn't bad at all. Next to that we've got a little piggy over here, a sea pig, sells for 10,000 bells, the speed is extra fast but the shadow size is quite small, available May to August, the infamous sea star is also there, available all year, all day, you've probably caught some already, similarly with the sea anemone, available all year, all day, large shadow size and it does not move. Similar to the Northern Hemisphere, we've got the sea slug in the corner, again, all year, all day, extra slow, but extra small, and kind of 600 bells, extra cheap if I'm honest. Pearl Oyster, you've probably caught one of these already as well, all year, all day, 2,800 bells they sell for, not bad at all. And next to that we have an Oyster, which is available from March to August in the Southern Hemisphere, it's slow, and it's small, 1,100 bells. We've got the Scallop again, you've probably caught them already, available all year, all day, not bad at all, I like how it flips around, <laughs> I think it's quite cool. And next to the scallop we have the whelk, aka a sea snail essentially. That sells for 1000 bells, it is also a slow moving target. Shadow size is very small, but it's not too bad. Next to that we have a abalone. <laughs> abalone sells for 2000 bells, which isn't too bad at all. Uh, and But besides that we've got my personal favourite which is the octopus, available all year, all day, you've probably seen one already in the summer's hemisphere, so hopefully you've got your hand on that. Then we have our first crab of the southern hemisphere, which is the Dungusness, the Dungusness crab, <laughs> or Dungusness crab, but I think it's pretty cool. It sells for about 1,900 bells, medium shadow size, medium speed. We've also got a snow crab next to that, which is available all day. Uh, shadow size is large, this one's fast moving and sells for 6,000 bells and a bigger crab in the corner there we have the red king crab available from May to September in the southern hemisphere all day it's large, it's extra fast and it sells for 8,000 bells god damn it that's quite a lot we've got an acorn barnacle, you've probably caught one of these already next to the acorn barnacle we have the sweet sweet shrimp, <laughs> very cute and of course next to that we've got one of my personal favourites as well, the mantis shrimp if you know anything about Logan Paul, you've probably seen it already. If you hit the screen, it smashes it because it's a deadly predator right there. It's a small shadow size, it's medium speed and sells only for 2,500 bells sadly, but that is a nice honourable mention right there. Next to that we've got a lobster available from June to July to October to November. It's available all day, it's got a large shadow size but it moves quite fast, 4,500 bells for that one. And last but not least in the southern hemisphere we have the Venus's flower basket, available April to August all day and sells for 5,000 bells. But that is every single sea creature you can find in Animal Crossing New Horizon in July following the update for the southern and northern hemispheres. I hope you've enjoyed that. If you have and found it useful, please do slap a like on it and try and catch me for one of my giveaway streams over the weekend. Hopefully I'll see you soon. It's been your boy TJ Burns. Thanks for watching.